Happy weekend, fellow hobbyists. This is the final part of my Forerunner build, where I turned the AMT Toyota pickup truck model into a first gen Forerunner. It's my brother in law's Forerunner that I try to replicate a good motivation for a build. And these are the results, and I will show you how I got there. I put on the decals, finish up the interior assembly. Glue the major components together. Interior is pretty basic. I won't spend most of my time on the body of this truck. There was a little bit of fit issues, being an older AMT kit, but not too bad. The pieces were large, so I can fit them in there. This is the lifted suspension. In one of my earlier videos, I'll show you how I lifted the suspension of this truck. Pretty critical for this truck. You have to lift it. You have to put big wheels on it. Okay, finishing up assembly of the little details on the outside of the truck, like lenses. I 3D printed these wheels. I had someone design the off-road wheels for me. I 3D printed it on my resin 3D printer. I have a separate video for that if you want to check that out. For the roll bars, I used styrene rod. Heated it up over a candle. Burned my fingers a lot. Probably close enough. So you just heat it slowly and gradually, then you can bend it the way you want without melting the rod and without burning your fingers. I use some the sticky blue stuff to keep in place and to finish it up I use Milliput to seal and glue everything. Sand everything down and that's how it looks. With the brush guard it's a little too thin I wanted to make it thicker. I cleaned up the edges, took out some pieces that his truck does not have. Looks like this now. And then I took some styrene tube to thicken it. Measured it, cut it out. Carefully cut a slit in it so I could fit it right over the styrene without snapping anything. I hid the seam, cemented it, and it looks a lot better. With the rock sliders, I also made it out of styrene rod. The tough part was gluing it onto the truck. Oh, here's the exhaust. So he has uh, dual exhaust tips, but this kit only has a single exhaust pipe coming out. So took some styrene rod, drilled a hole in the catalytic converter or muffler there, and fit it in there. And I took some brass tubing. Took the tubing, cut it apart, made the tips. Here's the primer on all the bare styrene. And the primer is actually the final color too. Just like that. I use epoxy to get it on there good since there's barely any attachment points. This whole kit is actually pretty heavy with all the resin wheels I put on, all the styrene I put on, all the extra milliput I put on, the body panels. Here are the tips. Now I have a dual exhaust tips. Just some light weathering so it looks realistic. Add a little dirt to again, make it a little more realistic. 
didn't have to go over the top, but this will add some good details onto the tires. Finished product of the bottom. Glue on the brush guard. This did not fit perfectly, so it blocked some of the hood from closing correctly. Had to mess with that. Here goes the roll bar and putting in some of the carpet in the back there, since this is technically an interior for the Forerunner. This first gen Forerunner had a hard top that you put on. Basically, it was a pickup truck with a hard top, but there's rear seating. Um, I did not do the soft top or hard top to make things easier for myself, but there goes some flocking there. Looks pretty convincing. And a final polish with some compound. Actually, it's compound and plastic polish. Got some metal emblems from Zoom On Models. And I mean, I don't think it's exactly aligned, especially the back Toyota. This is what happens when you get very lazy by the end of a build. This build took me almost two years. Here are the final pictures. Tell me what you think, and thanks for watching. Just please like the video, comment, and most importantly, subscribe so I can keep doing these videos for you. Let me know what kind of videos you like to see, and I'll see you next time.